everybody, it's me, Loki, Loki Niden, and today for the 20 games of 2020, we are playing Fallout 3! Yes, we are playing Fallout 3, and we are heading on over to a little known place, the Oasis. Riding up here. Bam! Let's get up over there, and uh, I can show off what's so awesome about this place, because it's heckin' cool. There's one thing that I won't be able to show off, but uh, we'll get to that when we get to that, just because of the sorts of weapons that I do or do not have. But spoilers. Let's get in and see. Oh, Outsider, you have Father Birch. Please Hello. Come Hello. I have something of the utmost urgency to speak to you about. Yes. Do hurry. He doesn't like to be kept waiting. Okay. I'm so Hello. Glad <laughs> he's like, please hurry up. I'm here already. Us, and he's been waiting for someone like yourself to arrive. Okay. If you wouldn't mind following me. I'll bring you right to Ooh. him. Him with a capital. Okay. Uh, what the hell are you wearing? Uh, yeah. Who are you and what is this place? I'm sorry. In my excitement... <laughs> Who are you people? I'm Tree Father Birch. And I have the great fortune of being leader of his people, the mm -hmm, Tree Miners. Mm -hmm. Beyond that gate is our home, Oasis. Mm -hmm. And who's waiting for me inside? Why, he is, of course. He. If you'll just follow me to the pavilion, all will be explained. Very well, then. Lead on, my good fellow. Excellent. Please, follow me. Okay. All will be explained soon. Uh, Blue and Fluttershy said they'd like to be a tree. This is the body horror version of that dream. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Not only are aliens bronies, but trees are too. Heck. No. Oh, the humanity. Hello. Tree Father Birch, are you going to take me somewhere? Ah, radioactive water. Boo. Okay. Hello, everyone. Ooh, basin of purification. You are welcome amongst us. <laughs> I'm glad somebody got the pun. Yeah. <gasps> hey, little girl, little girl, little girl. Hey. Like the great one himself. We welcome you with outstretched arms. Oh. Hey. You have no idea how overjoyed I am to see you. Normally, outsiders are forbidden inside Oasis, but he has made an exception. Yay. Okay, then. Where, where do you plug stuff in? <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. Like, no there's no the electrical output. So where, where do we, we plug things in? Uh, the electricity. I need to ago. charge my video games. Everything you see around you, from the tallest tree to the smallest blade of grass, is a gift. A gift from him. Uh, the way you're saying him, I could swear you're referring to a god. He's no mere god, my friend. He is the one who grows. He is the one who gives. And he is the one who guides. This is a cult then, right? <laughs> Definitely a cult. Uh, Street 48! I understand your Heck. Hesitation, but I can assure I'm getting, I'm getting good with words, but I'm not that good yet. Okay. Uh, I think you're a bunch of lunatics. Uh, so yeah, uh, why do you call yourself tree minders? We care for this place and keep it safe from those who would seek to exploit it. He gives to us. So we give back to him. Ooh. It's an arrangement that's worked well for almost two decades. Okay. We shun technology and embrace nature. That's so you're a bunch of tree hugging hippies. Reminder. Quite literally. Okay. Uh, yeah, if you hate technology, why carry weapons? Sadly, the wasteland is a hostile place, and sometimes we're forced to defend ourselves against it. If that means huh. fighting with manufactured weapons, then so be it. Had he not asked oh to no. see you, you never would have gotten this close to the gates. Okay, which brings us to why I'm here, I suppose. Yes, indeed it does. Sorry, I don't speak it's okay. to outsiders very No apologies. Long, I tend to get lost in no apologies nature. required. I rambled too. approached Oasis, he said you were coming, and I was sent out to meet you personally with a request. Okay. He wishes to meet with you. You'd be the first outsider to do so in a very long time. <sighs> I'd be honored to meet this person. Yes, person. <laughs> to meet him, you must undergo the ceremony of purification. <gasps> the ceremony of purification doesn't sound hippie at all. Bunch of hippies. Whenever you're Good. ready, we may begin. Okay. Uh, what does it involve? It's simple, really. 
You drink the sap from the basin here in the pavilion. Okay. The sap will purify your mind and body of anything harmful that could possibly hurt him. Doubt. I assure you, nothing harmful will happen to you. Mm, only something that would be harmful would be said to be that, but... Okay. <laughs> Take your place in front of the basin and let's begin. Basin. Ooh, Oasis. Hello. Undertake the tree minder ceremony. Hello. As soon as the rest of the tree minders are in place, we'll begin. Definitely a cult. Definitely a cult. Hello. <laughs> Is this anything like what happened in Point Lookout? Oh no. Hey there. Hello. I trust. We Can we start? You must drink from the basin if you wish to meet him. Okay. <laughs> it's just like yeah. medic. Yeah, I have to go now. <laughs> okay, I guess we drink this. Uh, the basin of purification is filled with some sort of thick, viscous sap. Nom. We will now recite the blessing to ward off any oh. harm the outsider may be carrying before he proceeds to the globe. Wow. Agents of destruction through the power of his. Just so trippy. <laughs> My vision's doing a wibble. Live no longer in them, but pass over into places where you can harm no one. I taste colors. In the name of his frondescence, I call his wrath upon you, so that wherever you may go, you bear it with you. And diminishing from day to day, you may disappear. Oh no. I don't want to disappear. I need my body to do things. Like shoot guns at bad people. No. And they've even got the little girl in there. I can't move. Help! <laughs> no! They brainwashed the little girl. No! No, don't take my goddamn kidneys! No! I need my kidneys! I need both of them! Uh oh. Hello? I think they stole my goddamn kidneys. But we've undertaken the Tree Ceremony and we don't seem to be any worse for wear. <laughs> leave, leave Loki's brain alone! Hello. Hello. Tree! It's a tree! Yes! Harold! Hello, Harold. If anybody um, doesn't recognise this fella, uh, they were in the original Fallout and also in Fallout 2, so that they make a little bit of a return. But they're slightly different than when we found them, because in Fallout 1, they just had a tiny little tree growing out of their head. And then in Fallout 2, it, they were more tree, and then in Fallout 3, they kind of just... Yeah, it's, it's, it's gorgeous, the art direction of this, because they kind of just fell to the ground. Palm put there to support themselves, and now they're just stuck. Stuck there, unable to move, and clutching his chest. Ah, oh, it's just... Clutching his chest, unable to move, having fallen down onto his knees. It's just a glorious, glorious piece of art direction right there. Anyway, talking tree! Glad to see you're finally awake. Hello, Harold. I can't believe they made you do that. <laughs> I am Groot, yes. Ceremony. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. They listen when I talk, but they don't hear. You know what I mean? I know what you mean. I'd very much like it if they did a, uh, a Fallout 3 remaster. If there w was like a Wild Wasteland perk, like they've got a New Vegas. And one of the w Wild Wasteland traits would be like when you talk to Harold here, uh, all of his dialogue would just be changed to I am Groot. That would be an amazing, an amazing little piece of Wild Wasteland right there. I bet there's a mod for it. I bet uh, somebody's done a mod for it. But that, that would be quite interesting. I must be dreaming. I've never met to a talking tree before. Or, uh, what's the trick? I know there's a guy with a microphone somewhere. No. I've never met a talking tree. Neither have I. Well, I mean, I talked to Herbert. Fun fact, there was actually a talking plant in Fallout 2, so trees talking isn't beyond, like, Im imagination in the world of Fallout. Like, there's actually sort of like a baseline of prevalence for this sort of thing to happen. I mean, they were a genetically engineered plant. Well, they were a plant that played chess and they could beat a bad scorpion. So, it was an intelligent plant. When I call him Herbert, though... Okay. You okay there? So you're trapped in there inside this Herbert and, I mean, Bob thing. Well, I 
suppose you could look at it that way. See, Bob used to ride around on top of my head, sunk his roots yeah. right in there, you know? Well, eventually, he got bigger than me. And then so yeah, and the tree grew inside this guy's brain and then it just took over. So yeah, how did a tree end up growing in your head? A tree beat a Raz Scorpion at chess. Now that's a statement. I mean, it's Fallout 2 is the best Fallout, but it is also the wackiest Fallout. So yeah, how did a tree end up growing out of your head? It was uh, a long time ago. Oh no. I tend to lose track. I was exploring some sort of a military base with some other people. Yeah, that does scan. This this did happen to him. Mariposa. He was exposed to FEV, forced evolutionary virus at Mariposa. Mariposa. We were pretty deep inside and we found some weird green bats of this nasty green goo. So yeah, Mariposa uh, was right like we um, leave, a military uh, institution, sort of like area, military base, attacked. where they were researching yeah. forced evolutionary virus. Yeah. Last thing I remember before blacking out was something knocking my friend in. And I believe, the if my Fallout law is correct, that his friend was uh, the master or somebody that got turned into the master. I can't, I can't quite remember that part, but um, I know that. Yeah, Harold here, and uh, well, they're still talk called Talking Tree, but we know their name, Harold. Um, did, fell into a vat of FEV, unfortunately. Uh, but hopefully your troubles will be over. I'm here to help. But yeah, the tree minder said you needed my help. Yes. Yes, I do. Or, I guess, we do. Mm -hmm. Me and Bob, that is. I had you brought in here to ask a very simple favor. What's that? Would you please kill me? Oh no, you want me to murder you? Kill you, can't be serious, or where do you want the bullet, head or gut? No! <laughs> no, you want me to murder you? Oh no, 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 no. It wouldn't be murder. You'd be doing me a favor. You see, I've been stuck here for over two decades oh, now. Oh god. Rooted right into the ground. Mm. The only friends I've got are Bob and those weirdos out there who think I'm a god. Uh, how would I be able to kill you though? You're a tree. Uh, if I kill you, every tree minder would come after me, and why didn't you just kill yourself? Yeah, why, why, well, I, I know you're rooted to the ground, but why, why didn't you do this before this happened? Now, how exactly am I? supposed to do that i can barely move anymore thanks to bob i'm obviously not going to be doing anything for a very long time mm. and yeah if, if i kill you every tree minder will be after me oh no no don't worry about that you decide to go down there, I'll have a little chat with Birch and the rest of the gang. Mm. They usually don't understand a word I say, but I'll make them come around. I think it's, it, it, the whole quest is deeper than just killing him or not killing him. We'll, we'll get on to that. But yeah, how would I be able to kill you? You are a treat. How to put this? I've been feeling rather. Spread out. Oh lately. no. Uh, I think Bob's kind of shoved my insides Ew. around some. <laughs> mm. It's hard to tell where everything is. <sighs> but it's always that way. Like, is my heart here? Insides, is it here? It? Is my heart here? Anyway, <laughs> I believe. Bob's carried some of my organs into his root system. 
I want you to go underground. To the underground. Something, 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 heart. something to the underground. That's where we do have to go. And yeah. Uh, can I have some time to think about it? Oh, oh, oh. of course. I know this is an un usual request yeah it's not every day that you're asked hey, to kill somebody uh, because they want to die an unusual tree, not good. Huh? don't like it <laughs> well bob is anyway i didn't we'll know the tree's name was bob uh, after all these years i, n I never I knew the tree's name was bob till the next person visits it could be years you're all i've got Herbert, or was it Bob? Um, da, da, da. Goodbye for now, or was it Bob? No, no. Herbert is the tree. Bob okay. is his real name, but I call him Herbert because I think it's pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> I never got that, for sure. But I'm still in here, too. Yay. What's left of me? The name's Harold. Harold. There we go. Talk to Harold. Enter the caves below and destroys ha uh, destroy Harold's heart. Uh, his organs have become the wasteland's most complex Rubik cube. Oh no. That that is just like you slide it over here and then over here and oops, I did it a squish. <laughs> no squish. Okay, let's have a word with uh, everybody out here. Hello. Is everybody sleeping? Why are you over here? Hello. Here we go. Yeah, this is the conversation we want right here. Hello. And I'm telling you, you've got it all wrong. Why else would he have called for an outsider's assistance? The outsider is here to deliver us from our enemies. To keep this place safely locked away from the wasteland. Not to exploit us. Because this is very How important. How can you preach about peace when all you want to do is keep his gift all to ourselves? That's not what he would want. If we allow the spread of this miracle to continue, we're putting him in jeopardy. I can't allow that. I won't allow it. Once again, my husband, we are at an impasse. I suggest we speak to the outsider. Agreed. Hey. Why else would the outsider have been allowed into the grove? Perhaps it's a test. Yes, that must be it. Hey. I know why you're here. And despite what my wife thinks, I know you'll do what's best for Oasis. Yes, I will. All, and I'll explain my reasoning <laughs> with uh, with reasoning, <laughs> I guess. I honestly don't know what I was going to say there. Anyway, words. Words are hard. I'm afraid Harold isn't a god. He's just a human that had some bad luck. He's not a god, but his name's Harold. Can we just... Yeah. He was a human that had some bad luck. Oh, he's testing you now, just like he tested us. He wants to see if your faith is strong by spinning these incredible stories. Who else but a god could produce all of them? A mutated person Don't with worry. a tree. You'll soon see things as I do. Uh, did you know your god wants me to kill him? Yes, I've been pondering that riddle myself for some time now. And I think I know what he's trying to tell us. Yes, he wants you to kill him. The Great One's influence is growing. And soon it will break free of the confines of this secluded veil. Oh no. We can't allow Oasis to call attention to itself like that. It would be the end of him. Uh, killing him should stop his influence from spreading. Or oh, good, free firewood for all! <laughs> no! Uh, that would be mean. Uh, killing him would stop his influence. You misinterpret his words, my friend. He wants you to extinguish that which seeks to make him vulnerable. If the same sap that you drank to purify yourself could be applied to his heart, it should stop the spread. I can promise you no harm would come to him. That's all I ask of you, outsider. Nothing more, nothing less. Nothing less. So that's one option. And the other, if we wait a moment, while he wanders away. Hey. I love him. <laughs> but sometimes I think he doesn't see the big picture. The spreading of his influence is not a curse. It's nope. a great miracle. Leith Mother Laurel. Meant for the entire wasteland. And uh, doesn't anybody care what your god thinks? Of course we do. He yearns to share his miracles with the whole world. 
to give the gift of life back to the dead wasteland. Yay. It's upsetting him to no end, but Birch can't see the pain it's causing. But now that you're here, I have a feeling the winds are about to change. There you go, and how can I possibly help? I heard what my husband wanted you to do. What I propose is an, an alternative. alternative. The same person that created the sap also created this liniment. If you can reach his heart, it will assist him in making his influence increase. Instead okay. of centuries, the wasteland will become green in mere decades. Just imagine how glorious that would be. So Laurel's liniment added. Now, what I'm going to do here is apply Laurel's liniment to Harold's heart to accelerate the growth. Because the whole point of Fallout 3 was to find the Garden of Eden uh, creation kit. And all we used it for was to make fresh water. I, I mean, I say all we used it for was to make fresh water. But fresh water alone is not going to be enough you to sort of revitalise the wasteland. Whereas if we were to help Harold grow and develop and spread faster, as Laurel mentioned, the wasteland would be green and verdant within a matter of decades. Something that we should have done with the Garden of Eden creation kit anyway, because it has the capability of doing so. It has the capability of terraforming the environment in, into a green and pleasant land. And instead we just made bloody drinking water using it. So I personally think the best outcome for the most people is to invigorate Harold's growth. Uh, I mean, Harold's not going to enjoy it. But think about the number of lives, think about the diversity of the ecosystems that will develop as a consequence of having Harold grow and develop. It's, it's the only right answer, in my opinion, uh, when it comes to uh, the most people that will benefit the most. Really, Harold is the only one that's suffering here. And if, if you do dig in, in and around um, some speech dialogues over here, in fact, if I quickly find her. The, the little girl, um, you, you'll find out that Harold does have a friend in the little girl that she seems to be the only one that doesn't really really understand what he's talking about, but I don't know if I can find her, if, if, if I can even speak to her, to be honest. Is she over here? Is this the little girl? No, that's Bloom Sip Hoplar. No, but there's, there's, there's a little girl called, I can't remember what her name is now. But essentially, she, she talks to Harold, and she likes listening to his stories. So, it's not like Harold isn't going to have a, have a friend to talk to. So, yeah. That's that, that's my reasoning. That's that's what I think is the right choice for what to do with Harold. Anyone? No? It might just be because it's night time. Yeah, did the guy have to call himself Birch? I, I don't think he did have to do that. I don't think he did. Ooh! Lockpick Ber- How am I going to get in here? Why is this caverns? Do we need to get a Do we need to get a key from someone? You're a guest among us and quite welcome. I'm aware, I need to get in there though. Can you let me in? It's very nice to meet you, outsider. I'm Hello. French tender Linden. Uh any information you could give me to get into the caves below Oasis would be helpful. Oasis is located near what used to be an old mining town before the bombs fell. Okay. When the attack started about 200 years ago, many people took shelter in the natural caves that dotted the area. Ah. The old gate that stands at the mouth of Oasis Cave is the last piece of architecture from those days. Okay. And can you let me in? I have to go. Can, can you let me in? Or is it just permanently locked? Hmm. <laughs> Let, let's wait until morning. We might have somebody that's just guarding it. They might let me in. I can't remember how to get in there. Might have to find the lockpick bobblehead. I'll have to look that up. Hello? Because I can't remember how to get in there. Um, Is it permanently locked? Or may, may, maybe someone around here will, will help me in. Hello, everyone. How you doing? Poplar and Linden and Cypress and Laurel and... There we go! Sampling you! This is the friend that Harold's going to have. What's your opinion on Tree Father Birch and Leaf Mother Laurel? Any information you could give me on the caves would be useful. My parents told me never to go past the old gate. There are monsters oh no. in there. Okay, so go in through the gate. Uh, tell me about your god. Oh, you mean Harold? He's really nice. Sometimes when I get really lonely, 
I go into the grove and talk Aww. to him. Sometimes I even curl up all cozy like and sleep next to his roots Aww. after I have a bad dream. I tell him what I'm scared of and he tells me what he's scared of. It makes me feel better knowing I'm not the only one. Hmm. Well, tell me too, then I won't be scared. Sorry, that's only Aww. for secrets between friends. Okay. And, uh... I can't believe a tree would be scared of anything. Hey, he's not a tree. He's my friend. Don't be See? mean. Friend. I'm not being mean. Okay. Me Bye now. Uh, yeah. Uh, c can you let me in through? Yes, outsider. What is it? Can you give me a key? Just like a cancer would infest our bodies, the caves below us are infested with vermin. Okay. You do well to be cautious down there. We've lost a few tree minders in the past. Okay. If this place has living plants, does that mean the water is safe I'm to drink? I'm afraid the water still bears the mark of man's ah, greed. Ah, heck. It's his reminder of what we once were. Perhaps one day, he will see fit to lift this punishment. Hmm. But I fear we have yet to command his full respect. Very well. Hello, One outsider. of you has to have. Yeah, I've not talked to Poplar yet. Introduce myself. Hello. Bloom Seer Poplar. One thing I do want to raise is that everybody seems to be quite elderly, and yet we've got a young girl. Where does she come from? Honor to welcome you. Hmm. Information. Of the water in the caves. I fear they still carry the sting of radiation from the bombs. Oh no. Okay. I can't quite remember how to get in there. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to look up where the lockpick bobblehead is. So, lockpick bobblehead, Fallout 3, shall be the thing we search for today. Because I've got to find these anyway. Lockpick, bobblehead, bubble, Fallout 3. Where do you hide? I don't know where you I don't know where they are. I don't know where he's hiding. Lockpick! Where are you hiding? Where are you hiding? The Bethesda Ruins! In the Bethesda offices east. Okay, so we've got to go to the Bethesda Ruins. Uh, which will be in here somewhere. Bethesda Ruins. Bethesda, 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 Bethesda. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Bethesda Ruins is... Somewhere. <laughs> is this game set in 2021? Where is the Bethesda Ruins? Oh, no, it's, it's near... It's south of Minefield. I thought it, it was... Uh, oh, heck. South of Minefield. So we've got Minefield... Around here. Me Megaton, Vault... Where's Minefield? I forgot. Where my ah, there, there's Minefield. There's the train yard. So it's... Like... Minefield... Uh, It's then... Down the road. It's about here. So we're gonna go searching. Yeah, for the lockpick bobblehead now. So let's go to the Maresti train yard, and we're gonna go find the Bethesda ruins. I'm gonna get that heckin' bobblehead, cause uh, <laughs> I don't know how else to get in there otherwise. I do not know how to get in there, so. Not picking it is. Hello. Wait. Sit down. Ah. No, leave him alone. Don't know who the person is. Ow. Excuse me. Thank you. You okay, friend? You're safe now. Okay, we want to head. Did I already put the marker down? Yeah, I put the marker down, but it's not. Ah. Need to go that way, apparently. Let me switch through. Let me switch through. Thank you. <sighs> what do we have around this way? Uh, toolbox, toolbox. Lots of toolboxes. Many toolbox. Right, this should be a quick little trip. I've got the, the the weapons and armor just to do pretty much any trip at this point. So, wh what are you though? Oh, you're a giant rat scorpion. That's fine. So, yeah. That, oh, and you're a baby rat scorpion. Hello. That you have a baby. You have a small, you have a small trunk. Oh. There we go. 
small chunk. Ah, ch chase the rad scorpion bits down the hill. Yeah. Doing egg rolling, but with rad scorpion. Uh, squeeze through. Thank you. Hmm. I haven't come across the cannibal town yet. Can't quite remember what that is. There's a few areas that we, we might, may not see um, during my time in Fallout 3, just because there is so much in this game. There's just such a large amount of thing. Thing? Yes. There, there are many things to explore, and it can be a little bit overwhelming. So, world map. Thank you. I want to go. Apparently, I'm not going the right way. I've got to go that way. Yeah, my my mark is a little bit borked. For some reason, not quite sure why it's a little bit borked. But, ooh, I've got a map marker now. Okay. I think this is the Bethesda ruins. Right here. I'm going to find the Bethesda East offices. That's where our. That's where our stuff is. Our little bobblehead friend. I do intend on finding every single bobblehead. So. Make sure we have them all. There we go. Red rocket. Why is there a red rocket opposite? And a car that decided to go off the road. Hello. I think that one's already blown up, so I don't have to worry too much. Anything up here for me? We right. Just a wander on in. Uh, hello there. We good? I, th I think this is it. Oh. Oh, raiders. It's fine. Ow. Uh oh. <laughs> that wasn't fun. There are many, 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 many raiders. Heck off. Heck off. <laughs> we in Raider Town? We in Raider Ow! Raider Town. Oh, that's a talent company, Merc. Oh, dear. Okay, quickly chuck a couple of stim packs and some stuff in my body here. Uh, buh, 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 a couple of stim packs and a medex. Do I have medex? Oh, medex. Nice. Oh. Oh, thank you. And oh, that car's totally gonna explode. That's fine. Hello. Goodbye. Oh! <laughs> he kind of just went into giblets. Okay, what are we looking at here? What, what are we looking at here? Let's go around here. That's not what I need. We need a gun. Oh, wait. Sit down. Sit still. Sit still while I shoot you. Thank you. Ow! Excuse me. Excuse me. Thank you. Sit down. Everybody just calm down and sit down. I'm <laughs> just like whirring up. Whirring down. A whirring up. Oh dear. Okay, let's just avoid that car for a moment. Oh, sniper. There we go. Okay. Where am I? Have I successfully found anything? Bethesda ruins. Found it. And I think there's some more over here, so we're going to check these out. Because I need the Bethesda East. Let, let's double check this. Is it definitely the Bethesda East ruins? Map marker Bethesda ruins. Yeah, so that's that one. And then if we go back, Bobblehead Lockpick is in the... Bam. Bethesda ruins, Bethesda Offices East. Yeah. Watch the East Building's made up of small offices with the more cramped fighting. Yeah. Okay, sweet. Let's get in there. Let's get in there. So that will be in here. So to help a tree grow, we have had to go into a video game office to find a toy which will help me with lockpicking. Because video games. <laughs> 
Because hacking video games. How can I get in here now? Ow! Rude. I've got to find the entry point first, which is going to be a whole thing on its own. Hello? 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 Well done. <laughs> I love how my gun just turns ev everything into giblets. It's wonderful. Okay, I'm just going to fast travel here where I am and then I'm going to work out how I need to get in. I think it's this one. I think it's this set of offices I need to get into. So we'll try getting in here. Okay, what do we have? Part of giblets, nothing useful. Okay, let me in. I I can come in. Please. Someone? Hello? Is me? No? Okay, th this is just a big building I can't get into, unfortunately. I thought I might be able to get in. Nope. Fortunately not. Okay, so I can't get in there. So, that's a no-go. Could it be over here instead? Ah, th there you go. There's the entrance. Completely missed it. Uh, pile of giblets. Nope. Wait, was that a cutting knife or a cosmic knife? Combat knife. Okay, I read cosmic knife. I'm like, that's only in New Vegas. Why is the cosmic knife in Fallout 3? But no, it was just a combat knife. Okay, come on. That's west. Uh, so I might be able to just go straight into the east one. If I'm lucky, I might, I might be able to... Rather than having to fight my way through the whole of the west, uh, west part of the offices. We'll have a look, I'll, I'll, otherwise I'll, I will just fight my way through. Oh, there goes the medics. That's not a fun time. Is it this one? I mean, I'll, I'll fight my way through if I have to, but... This one? I, I've, got, I've got a feeling that it is just, uh, yeah, that's fine, okay. We'll have to go through, and I'm guessing the uh, the bubble head is right at the end of the whole thing. Yeah, it, it it goes up there. Look, so if that's east, this might be the west one. Can I make my way in here? Can I can I sneak on in? No, unfortunately not. That's not how I, that, that's not how things are going to work. It's a shame, but we'll go and get the heckin' bobblehead. Let's get on up here. Ugh. We need to do this. We can do this. I believe. I believe. Do you believe? Because I believe. I'm sorry, my, my phone. This is why I, I put my phone away when I'm streaming, because ot otherwise it, it can be a massive distraction. But, of course, when you need it to find heckin' bobbleheads, uh, <laughs> I then put it on there. Like, nope. Nope. You, you has to move now. You are being a distraction. Being a distraction. Made it. Okay, let's get in there. Then we'll fight our way through to the east offices, and then we can do a proper explore. Oh dear! A proper explore, because there's not really much in here that I want. So. We'll just make sure to grab what, what we need. I... Oh, that like raiders, it's fine. Hello! Oh dear. Oh, Mark 7 turret, bloody hell. That's quite something. Hello! Bye. Oh, that didn't quite kill you. There you go, that did. Oh dear. Where you coming from? Oh, you've all got melee weapons. Good luck. Ooh. There we go. <laughs> Free aim that a little bit. Whee! Ooh. Ah, explosions. Sweet! Okay, light on. Again, not going to be doing too much in the way of exploration here, but uh, 
I'll grab like yeah, first aid boxes and stuff. I need all the bobby pins. I need them. No, let me let, let me in. Yeah. Uh, oh, spare bobby pin. Nice. Okay. And what this? Turret control system. Nah, that's fine. I'll just shoot them all. Fresh meat! No! No eat battle! You'll get sick! Mm -mm. Okay, what do we have in here? Okay, can't go upstairs, got some water there. Got some glue glue and surgical tubing. Mm -mm -mm. Just what I want for dinner. Let's get through. Ah! There we go. Let's run the heck away from that. Don't know where the music's coming from, which is very annoying. Ah! Shush! Shush music! No! Quiet! Rude! How... how turn off? No. Hey. Oh. Goodbye. No music. No music to turn off, unfortunately. Ooh. It me! Hello! <laughs> you had a flamethrower! <laughs> Who da? It me! <laughs> Battle! Oh! I see it! Where's the bloody radio? It's loud! Shh! Hush! Uh oh! That one! Oh ho ho ho! Everything's fine. Come on! God, that music's loud. Okay, I need to find my way through somehow. But again, I don't know how to get through this place because I, I need to get to the west offices. And the music's still a thing. Ah, stop it, music. Okay, getting some microfusion like, cells. Hmm. So we went up here. We went. Oh, we didn't go right, did we? There we go. Now I'll be our way through. Yeah, we're still <laughs> we're still on the objective for Oasis, but technically this is my mini mission. Where the hell did he go? Hello? Some just went through me. Well, I'll have your ammo. I guess. Oh, that's a nice touch. So they gave gave them sniper ammo. Anyway, let's actually have a couple of stim packs in my body, please. Aid stim packs in thy body. Yes. Get into the ah the east one. Sorry, I thought you said west. Okay. Reload. Light on. And in. We're looking for a... Ooh. Oh. Hello! Hi. You're dead now. Phew. Yeah. Hello! Ow! Excuse me. Ah, there you are! Th th that's all I want! You! <laughs> Yay! 10G! Yes, I play with dolls! Found Bobblehead, you found a Vault Tech Limited Edition Bobblehead. The inscription on the base reads, Always strive for the unobtainable. Your lockpick skill has been permanently increased by 10 points. Now I leave. Ow. <laughs> now we flee. That's all I wanted. All I wanted. I'm not here to fight. I'm here to get lockpicking. Lockpicking. Which should now mean that I've got a lockpick of 100. So let's double check that. Lockpicking. Lockpicking. 99. What's got my lockpick down? <laughs> no. Uh, perception, psycho. I need to take a dose of psycho so that I don't. Uh, so I can bloody lockpick. Do I have psycho on me? Um, <laughs> this is a really weird thing to be needing. Yeah, I've got plenty of psycho on me. Okay. So let's uh, travel over to. There we go. Boop. Oasis. 
so stupid. So stupid that I need Psycho to lockpick of all things. Of all the drugs I need, I need Psycho. Brilliant. Ah, <sighs> That's what happens when you get addicted, though. So, oh. Yep, I am in the right place. I got confused there. No, no, put the gun back out. Reload the gun. Then put the gun away. There we go. And we can also get rid of that uh, location. Oh, apparently I could... Wait, what? Oh, okay. Confusion. Maybe there is another way in, but this is the way I decided to go because... I like lockpicking, and I needed it. It's one less lockpick. One less lockpick?! Hello! Uh, one less bobblehead that I I'll need to find in the long run, so... We got it. We got them. So yeah, let's have a quick look here. So... As I currently am, can't get in. Take a dose of Psycho, and I can suddenly lockpick. <laughs> oh, I'm so into lockpicking right now! <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> and... Almost got it. Heck, so close. Okay, over here. No. Let's... no. Let's... come on. The sweet spot! Give me the sweet spot! Give me the sweets! Mom! No. No. Oh, I hate hard locks. Oh, well, technically very hard locks. Stop breaking! Okay. Here. No. Okay, it's the sweet spot's definitely around here. Lock. Mm. I'm not forcing the lock. Okay, we've got it here. Yay! <laughs> Just had to do a, a, little, a little bit of calm there, which is not something you can do when you've got Psycho in your body. But we, we might as well take advantage of having Psycho in our body, because uh, we've got a whole load of enemies to have to boot now, so... And... Apparently I missed. Hello! Thank you! Okay, let's get in there. Let's, uh, let's use this. Go, 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 go. Because I'm just going to walk up to things and do them a whirr. So, that'll work. Hello! Thank you. There we go. All you need is a whirly blade and some psycho running through your veins. Hello? Oh! This is what I think of your egg! Come and have some. There we go. Hello. There you go. Any more? I take your meat. <laughs> I am an evil cookie sometimes. Violet King, you're dead. Popped your head off. Any more? Nope. Let's go. Oh, great. I've got to go underwater, haven't I? I've totally got to go underwater. I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. Let's save, because I hate going underwater in this game. In New Vegas it's fine, because you can just have a rebreather. There is no such luxury in this game. Go. Oh, oh it's dark. And it's spoopy. Oh, I hear ya. Hello! I need to get this thing paired as well at some point. Because I'm burning through its... Uh, What's it called? Through it. Condition! That's it! Can't think of the name there. Burning through its condition. Although the water should be there to put the fire out, so we should be fine. But. I don't trust it. Hello? Ah, no, 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 no! There you go. Cripple your face, get your head off. He's about to use a psychic attack thing. Uh, oh no, there's so much rubbish down here. It's not very nice. Hello? Oh, it's just a Mylurk. Hello. Excuse me. Thank you. Rude. I mean, I'd be pretty angry too. There's a lot of litter here. No, 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 no. Get up in his face. Get in his face. Get his body. And he's dead. Okay. Yeah, Mylurk kings can still be a problem if I don't take care of them. Hello? No, no, no. No, 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 cripple the head, cripple the body, done. 
So, uh, yeah. That's pretty much my whole <laughs> tactic here. Well, I've got Psycho. It's like, yeah, let's run up to him. That will sort itself out. And we have the heart. So, as mentioned, what I think best is to... If we go to quests, just want to make sure I put the right one on, is to apply Laurel's liniment to accelerate his growth so that his verdancy spreads throughout the wasteland, helps all these people, and with the fresh water, uh, it's basically the proper use of a Gek kit, because we should have used it for this purpose. We should have used the Garden of Eden creation kit to actually make the wasteland a verdant landscape, but no, we just made fresh water. Duh, duh, duh. Apparently we need that to live. But no, uh, we are going to be doing this. We're going to be applying Lovell's Liniment to Harold's Heart. Lots of alliteration, awesome alliteration. Activate, so you can destroy the hearts, you can apply Birch's Sap to stop Harold's growth, or you can apply Laurel's Liniment, and we'll be applying Laurel's Liniment. So, we spread that over, and his heart beats faster. Oh, just, there's so, so many nice touches, and I, I love it. I love this quest. Speak with Leaf Murrow Laurel. Okay, can do. I'm going to have to find my way back out here, but can do. So now, now it's just a little bit of backtracking, because I can't... Uh, can't get out otherwise, so let's get on with the back trapping. Back, back, back track it. Words. Ah. Ooh, my look meat. Ooh. Soft shot. Now I'm heavy. Let's nom that meat. Om nom. Oh, and I've got a new Coca-Cola quantum. Uh, nom. And where's the other one? Nom. And we'll have a. Right away. Sure. I should have taken the right away at the end of all this, because uh, I'm going to be going through some dirty, dirty water, but meh. Got plenty right away. At, at this point, again, I'm on hard mode, and yet I, st I still don't really need anything at this point. I've got 4,000 caps, so if I do need anything, I can just go and buy it, and it's like, mm, okay. Ah. Get the heck out of here. Yeah, pretty much anything that I need now, I can just buy, so it's like, not really fast. Hop over here. Oh, hello. Oh no. Just doing a sit. Next to the egg clutch. Doing a sad sit. I'm sorry. Oh, that's the psycho. <laughs> if I want to do a lock pick, I'll, I'll have to uh, take more psycho. It's fine. Okay. Yeah, I, I I feel that's such a weird thing for me to have to do. Uh, I think I could go to a doctor to get rid of the addiction, but it's not a massive problem. Agility minus one isn't, isn't a massive problem at the moment, so... I'd rather just leave it. I think the endurance minus one's more of a problem, but again, it's not really a massive problem. Yay! Two oasis! Oh no! I think the kid stole the lollipop. No swiping, Swiper. Swiper, no swiping. Hello. Everybody alright? Let's go talk to Harold. Is it Harold we have to talk to? Oh, this is going to be an awkward conversation. Oh no. This is going to be an awkward conversation. <laughs> I'm sorry, Harold! It was in everyone's best interests. Hello. This is awkward. You've done a great deed this day, my friend. The gifts the Great One has bestowed upon us will now take mere decades to breach the Yay. confines of Oasis instead of centuries. Uh, yeah, Oasis needs to be shared with the world. In your short visit here, I can see you've learned much. That's a rare gift in these turbulent times. Awesome. I believe there are a few tree minders who wish to speak to you before you depart. Yes. And this is quite important. I think you'll find their appreciation quite rewarding. Good luck in all your journeys, my friend. Thank you. I hope your time here has opened your heart as well as it opened your eyes. Oh. There we go. And that's Oasis complete. And I can't imagine Harold too uh, ecstatic about this. So, it looks like you decided to do things their way, huh? How yeah. come? Uh, he, he deserves to know. You've become an important part of their life without you. I'm not killing type. Obviously crazy. No, um... 
Yeah, I don't kill. Well, I do kill. A lot. Uh, <laughs> they've become an important part of their life. So, they really need yeah. me that badly, huh? Yeah. I guess I never thought of it that way. Awfully selfish of me. Should we give him another chance, Herbert? <laughs> <laughs> fine, fine. I mean, Bob. I love how he's just like telepathically talking to the stream. We have no when idea what's I call going on. Him Herbert. <laughs> <laughs> I like Harold. Bob, Herbert, and Harold. I don't get it. Okay. Okay. Well, let me talk. Real careful for the slow it. folks. Mm -hmm. I was once a man a yes. long time ago named Harold. I get that. Bit. Something in me changed, and a weird little tree started growing right out of my head. I get that bit. It kept getting bigger until I ended up stuck inside. When people would ask about it, I decided to name it Bob. Okay. You know, like a friend or something. Sometimes I call him Herbert instead of Bob because I get okay, bored. Okay, so it's a coping mechanism. Okay, that, that's all you have to say. <laughs> That's so, all you had to say. Long story short, call <laughs> me Harold. Okay, Harold. Thank you. I've got to go now. Okay. Wave bye bye, Bob. Oh, <laughs> come on. Move a branch at least. Oh, what you wish. Oh. <sighs> <laughs> I like Harold. I mean, not enough to kill him, because that would be mean. But I still like Harold. Oh, hello. That's you, Leaf Mother Laurel. Yeah, I don't like it. Well, arguably, I like Harold so much I don't want to kill him. But some might say I don't like Harold enough to kill him. So, tomato, tomato, potato, potato. Hello. Yes, I need to talk to everyone. Because you all, you've all got things for me. Uh, the little girl has the most important of the things, though. So, let's quickly talk to everyone. Branch Tender Linden. And we'll wake up Branch Tender Cypress as well as we're moving. Uh, it's nice to have the pleasure of your company hey. again. So, yeah, you said you may have a gift. I've never known someone to show as much caring as you did towards Aww. us. It seems to be rare to run into anyone like that anymore. That's partly why I never returned to my former life after I found myself in this place. Okay. Allow me to present a piece of my past to you, friend. Perhaps Ooh, it will serve you better than it served me. So we've got ourselves outcast power armor, so they were a member of the Brotherhood of Steel. What will you do now? I'll remain here and help in any way that I can. Okay. I owe them my life, and Aww. I intend to repay that debt until my last breath. Very well. Back again. May your spirit rest in its branches. And yeah, the, the outcast power armor, compared to what I have, which is the winterized, is garbage. So uh, we're just going to be dropping that, unfortunately. Big guns plus five, strength plus one, agility plus uh, minus one, sorry. So yeah, the big guns is interesting. But it's just not enough of anything. You can keep it. Thank you, though. What do you want? Uh, what will you do now? I'll do what I do best. I'll make sure Oasis never falls, even if it means my own death. Oh no. Okay, so you didn't have anything. So that's fine. Not everyone will have gifts because not everyone is going to be ecstatic about this. Uh, who else? There's still the little girl around here. So I'm gonna wait until day. It it seems to be difficult to find anyone. At night in Oasis, they seem to just disappear. So, there we go. They'll be around here, around about now. There we are. So, I didn't talk to Bloomsar little Poplar. Yes, gifts. You'd be the one to make the changes that Leaf Mother Laurel desired. I helped to create the hoods that you see all tree minders wear. Okay. It's said that the cloth is a part of the Great One Spirit woven into the fibers. Hmm. I present this to you as thanks. Wear this with pride and bring the message of renewal to all the corners of the wasteland. I can't remember what this does. What, what does the Poplar's Hood do again? Poplar's Hood. Sneak plus ten's not bad, actually. I mean... 
I think my sneak's already a hundred. Let's quickly check that. Do, do, do. Oh no, my sneak's ninety-one. So, arguably, in the mid game, if, if you want a sneak boosting object, the Poplar's hood's not bad. It replaces the three dog head wrap, but let's be honest, not everyone is going to have the three dogs head wrap. Because <laughs> not everyone's going to do what I did to get it. But um, yeah, that could be quite a useful thing otherwise. I mean, it's got, da oh, it's got damage resistance too as well. That's not bad. It's pretty good actually. Especially with the agility um, plus one too. Uh, anyway, I need to drink or eat something heavy. Uh, there we go. And then we've got ourselves Expert sapling you. you. You're one of the good guys. I am. I don't know. Maybe go oh, play no. with Harold. Um, sapling you normally gives you something, but I have seen this before, oh, yeah. where. For some reason, you just can't actually get it, but it's something like uh, Sapling Use Bear Charm or something, and it, it gives you speech plus ten. Um, not the end of the world that I don't have it, but it would have been a nice to have. Not gonna lie, but yeah, basically those are all the different bits and pieces that you can actually get, and then you can can't activate that anymore, unfortunately. But yeah, this has been. Oh, are oh, they gonna get angry at me if I sit on the throne? No, they're fine with me! Yay! This this has been Blorp. Uh Oasis! <laughs> and I shall now sit on their throne, because I am now the queen of all of Oasis. <laughs> yes, that has been a little bit of Oasis in Fallout 3, but unfortunately, it does indeed come to that shill 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 bit of this part. If you did enjoy it, you know, hit that follow button. And if you massively enjoyed it, hit the subscriber button. If not, that's perfectly fine as well. Those sorts of things can go and make the difficult decision as to what to do with Harold. Because, yes, that can actually be quite a difficult uh, decision. But I justified my reasons as to why I think I did what I did. And, uh, yes, that comes down to helping Harold grow for the betterment of the wasteland. But, yes, thank you so much for watching our videos, live streams, and VODs. I hope you have a wonderful evening, and indeed, a good night.